Hello everyone, it's myself Heming Satwara and today we are going to discuss about transistor as a switch. It is one of the transistor's application. First application we have seen in our previous lecture that was transistor as an amplifier. Now in this lecture we are discussing about its second application transistor as a switch. So let us discuss about basics of transistor as a switch. We all know that transistor has four regions of operation in which active region, cutoff region and saturation regions are commonly used. I said four regions of operation that means active forward and active reverse region. So there are four regions of operation but here in this chapter we are discussing only active forward region. Transistor works in active region when it works as an amplifier. Be specific active forward region. When it is worked as a switch, it should be in cutoff and saturation regions. So here switch is a very useful and important application of transistors. In most digital ICs, transistors will work as a switch to make power consumption very low. So here we can see this is the biasing of NPN transistor. So for transistor as a switch, transistor should be work in cutoff region and saturation region. If transistor is in cutoff region, then B junction and CB junction should be in reverse bias and its application is open switch as we can see here. In second region of operation, if it is in saturation region, then base emitter junction and collector base junction should be in forward bias and its application is closed switch. That means in order to use transistor as a switch, it should be operated in cutoff region and saturation region. So here let us discuss with its first case which is known as cutoff region. So here we can see this is the transistor in cutoff region operation. If operating condition of transistor are zero input base that means IV zero, zero output collector current that means IC is equal to zero and maximum voltage that means VCE across the transistor which results in a large depression region and current flowing through the device is zero. Therefore the transistor is fully off. Here we can see the operation in step by step region. If V in is equal to zero that means your input voltage is equal to zero. We can say your input is directly connected with, to, with the ground. So your flow of IB it is also zero because your input is equal to zero then your IB that means base current is equal to zero. If your base current is equal to zero then your IC is equal to zero because IC is your output current or we can say this is the collector current. So it is also zero then voltage drop across the VRC is equal to zero. If IC is equal to zero that means across that register voltage drop should be zero. If voltage drop is equal to zero that means your VCC is equal to output voltage VO is equal to one. Be precise we can understand from this circuit diagram. Here we can see this is the circuit diagram of transistor as a switch. V in where we can put input waveform and VO we can get output waveform. So here if we applied V in is equal to zero that means your IB 
here we can see base current is equal to zero if your input current is equal to zero that means your output current ic is equal to zero if your output current ic is equal to zero that means across this rc this is the collector resistance across this rc voltage drop should be zero if your voltage drop across this resistor is equal to zero that means at your output voltage you will find the value of vcc if i apply vcc is equal to 5 voltage that means at your output voltage you will get 5 voltage so that means here this transistor becomes off so here we can see its equivalent circuit like this so transistor becomes off that means here resistance is very high so your output voltage is equal to vcc is equal to vce is equal to 1 so for the cut off region you will get 1 when you apply zero now next this is the second region or we can say saturation region here transistor in saturation region operation now transistor will be biased so maximum amount of current is applied resulting in maximum collector current now it is totally inverse of the case number 1 in this case in case number 2 we apply v input if we apply v input that means your iv goes flow if your iv flows that means your ic flow if your ic flow that means voltage drop across that particular resistance will be sided here we can see if we applied v in is any value so iv flows if iv flows that means ic becomes saturated ic if ic is equal to ic saturated that means vrc is not equal to 0 that means there will be a voltage drop across that collector resistance that means if there is a voltage drop present vcc is not equal to your output voltage that means vce is equal to vo is equal to we can say 0 so be specific we can understand from this circuit diagram here this is the saturation region if we apply v in input voltage that means your iv flows and ic flows as well so here we can see its equivalent circuit of this saturation region like this here your transistor becomes on because across this transistor you will find lower resistance and you will get vo is equal to vce is equal to 0 that means it is the inversion if you apply 1 and you will get 0 here we can understand through this input to output waveform for transistor as a switch here we can see above this is the input voltage and below shows output voltage and we applied here square wave because as a switch we can understand through this square wave because square wave has a two value 0 or 1 whereas in sine wave you will find more different values so here if we applied zero value that means this is the input if your input is equal to zero that means you will get one in your output voltage like this now this is the square wave in next case if you entered one as a input so this is your one at this time you will get your zero be precise this is not 
exactly zero it depends on the resistor and many more factors so it is nearly equal to zero then again repeat if you entered here zero in your input value at this time you will get your output is equal to one now here first case shows that transistor is in off situation and second case indicates transistor is in on condition and similarly in case number three it repeat itself case number one and two so here is the applications of transistors logic circuits temperature controllers timers smps and ups and we can also use in stepper motor controllers so these are the applications of transistor so transistor as a switch we can use in this different types of controllers or circuits that's all for today's lecture that's all for today keep learning keep reading we will see you soon in next coming lecture thank you Thank <laughs> you.